Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, Cosmic Fury Episode 8 is kind of the penultimate episode where getting Ollie freed of the evil curse and uh, them bringing back Mucus and Slyther, which I do like those characters, they're fun. But this episode, compared to the previous seven, feels much like a standard PR episode. Now, Power Rangers always has this issue of balancing, you know, drama, corny, some seasons can do it really well and some seasons can do it really badly. Cosmic Fury up to this point was kind of not getting that to gel. Maybe it's because the actors were told, you know, be more hyper, be more energetic, and it kind of overspilled in the corny aspect. This is the first time Cosmic Fury felt like they got like the jokes right, the perfect blend of it and I really didn't have any complaints about it compared to the previous times. Now, this is just at the conclusion of the Rangers uh, retaking Earth, disabling the shield, releasing all the imprisoned people, blah, 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 blah. And everyone goes into their separate directions. Billy goes back to the new command center. The others are trying to bring back sort of normalcy. They just came back to Earth. They don't know what's going on. Like Aeon specifically is worrying about his, you know, shop store, like what happened to it? Is it okay? And I do like that we saw Billy at the command center which is what i really hated with cosmic fury to this point they just filmed once and always and that's the reason why david yost came back to do this entire season but they didn't use all the sets from once and always which i thought was a waste you rebuilt the juice bar set in really great detail and they didn't have any type of scene either like in this particular episode or any other time just showcasing a place around the world so it just felt like a waste now there's one major complaint I have with this episode. It basically kind of continues the plot line of the last one where they used Heckle to get into the evil side and break everyone out from Earth. And basically they're gonna do the exact same plan with Marcus and Slither. And I thought, okay, fine, cool. You're gonna bring in more additional characters and whatnot. What happened to Heckle? Like the previous episode, he was here to help the Rangers any which way they can. Heckle's from a different dimension. So I'm assuming the Dino Charge Rangers are perfectly fine because they would have been over there. Why didn't Heckle stay here and help out? They captured what hurts face. And so she's the only one who survived that knew the Heckle turned. In the end of the day, they do kill the character. So then literally Heckle could have been still used in this episode, but instead he just screws off. But I also have to complain about another particular issue. Now, obviously Anne was worried about a store. He's been gone. We don't know what the condition was because Earth got taken over. I like that aspect. The problem happens is when this little girl comes in and is hoping the store is open and I'm saying to myself, wait, wait a minute. Okay, this is a cute little scene, but they just got Earth freed from Zed. They, everyone was imprisoned. They were in internment camps. Obviously there would have been a lot of devastation. It feels completely disconnected. And I can't believe I'm actually saying this. Of all seasons, Megaforce, they were going through this hellish crap on Earth. They show the devastation. They show people in these places where, you know, they lost their homes. They have to make makeshift fireplaces. People are endangered of dying. They show all that. But in this case, everything is all happy and go lucky. There's a complete disconnect between what happened in the previous episode and what's happening in this one. But at the same time, they're trying to use Mucus and Slyther to showcase, you know, some aspects because Mucus and Slyther are trying to, you know, get some people happy. You can throw some rubber rocks and have people a little bit more depressed while Mucus and Slyther are trying to entertain them. That's where the scene really should have started because the whole sequence is really just for Aeon to find Mucus and Slyther, have him go into a store, close it up, and then he sees Mucus and Slyther trying to entertain people, get people happy. And then, you know, you could still have Aeon scene with the girl with the flargan cake and everything, give him the recipe. Just combine the two scenes together while you set up a serious situation, which is a major problem with PR all the time. They have these world ending situations, but half the time they don't acknowledge that people are in danger and it just showcases the show being really stupid. Other than that, the episode is pretty much straightforward. They got rid of one of the main baddies, although she's gonna come back in a later episode. They got rid of What's Her Face, who 
extremely annoying, which was great. And they blow up Ollie's statue, which is the turning point of, does he turn back to good or does he go evil? So now I've been complaining about all the other episodes that have been mainly, they've been rushing through, everything feels too fast paced. Things are being like cut out or dumbed down to a ridiculous level like Fern's episode. Then we get to this episode and now it feels like it's going slow. They have to do a lot of reveals. You know, Zato has to basically, you know, admit to the entire team finally, like, I'm going to die, die. I'm losing energy. There's no way to replace it. And, and I have to use these abilities in order to help you guys out. Then you have to explain mucus and slither. You have all this explanation going on. Honestly, this episode and the previous episode should have been connected, especially with Heckle. These should have been really put together. We had all these really fast episodes and then all of a sudden we get stuck over here and slow down. I think it would have been better off that the episode where they get the dragon sword, that should have just been completely dropped because again, it was just there to make footage, work around that and expand on Heckle mucus and slither because it would have made more sense because you're showcasing you know redeemed villains and it would have been interesting to see how heckle would have reacted to mucus and slither that's one of the things writers always say if you're out of ideas put characters that normally don't get put together together and see how they go and plus it would have kept heckle here for another additional episode it would have been a better transition to get rid of heckle in this episode rather than to him just disappearing because it makes no sense like why would heckle disappear and on top of it no one even mentions it they mention billy but then heckle's just like oh what happened to him i don't know he just disappeared and also another thing that makes the episode feel lackluster is because this is kind of a really important turning point uh, for ollie he is the one who's been evil and this is the episode where they finally break him free or not and he's just basically thrown to the wayside until the very end he's supposed to be a really big important character and mucus and slither are taking his spot ollie has been useless through this entire run i understand that the actor was busy he could not film with the entire cast at this point of the season you might as well had cut out ollie completely and killed him off it would have made a much more impactful thing you know ollie died trying to save everyone and he turned evil there was nothing they can do they destroyed his statue he turned back good and then zed killed him for his disobedience it would it worked out making zed look really Really horrific and you want him gone it would have also worked out because you brought in fern it was just it just felt such a waste to have ollie turn evil and then never focus on him this is supposed to be his turning point and we don't showcase it at all can you imagine that happening in dino thunder with trent and instead of focusing on that they blow up his crystal off screen and we're focusing on a devon and cassidy episode you have to make your evil ranger one of the more key focus things i have no problem with mucus and slither coming in it does work into the story and it does give them closure but at the same time you cannot sacrifice your core power ranger character to side characters these are the episodes that you needed to expand on and focus on more rather than having that rock out concert episode like i said i do like this episode it feels the most of a pr episode it's just that it was bombed down of heckle vanishing mucus and slither taking all the screen time and ollie basically being a useless ranger character so because of those reasons i'm going to give this one another four out of ten I really can't give it anything higher. I would love to give it higher because there are a lot of bits that I do like. I do love Zato's moment where he finally confesses to everyone. He's like, no, don't, I don't want to cover this up anymore. They deserve to know. I understand him from his point of view that I don't want to, you know, make everyone think about me even more. It's just a mishmash of mess of like what happened where did everyone go billy has the excuse heckle does not the dino charge theme is perfectly safe unless they were actually on earth but since they didn't want to give us any information of what happened to the dino charge team i'm assuming they're on their earth and they're perfectly fine this is not looking good for the end of the series we have two episodes left and what am i going to expect from those we've had okay episodes one really good episode and one super disappointing episode and now another one whatever's happening with zed and the morphing masters i hope that turns out really well and i don't get disappointed